Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video here and I am here to show you right now how to breed super dinos. Now I've had a lot of people and you can see I've got a step-by-step -step process we are going to follow it the entire way through. In order to breed a super dino, we're going to use the dodo. We have perfect 150 level with perfect taming effectiveness, meaning they have 225. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tame these guys and look at them all. I mean, not tame them, but look at them and figure out how do we get the best stats? What do we do step by step? And I'm going to walk you through the process so you can do this on your own. Now, all the big tribes, they have a decent idea of how to do this, but this will walk you through step by step. Maybe you're missing a step. Maybe, you know, you need a little bit of help. It doesn't matter. We're going to go over it. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I promise you it'll be worth it. So let's check it out. Step number one. This is just the easiest rule in the game. If you see a 150, I do not care if you have perfect stats, if you have anything. Always tame the 150 because you want to at least look at the stats. I mean, sometimes you're looking like, oh, that's awful. But even when you sometimes tame it, it'll get all of its levels or points, and I'll talk about what points mean in a second here, into a certain stat to give you the ultimate tame, we'll call it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for in these dodos, we are going to try and get the best health stat possible. I've got a bunch right here. Step number one is easy, separating them to males and females. So female, 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 male, we'll go over here for now. And while we're doing this, basically what we're trying to do is we are trying to figure out what is the overall best male, best female, that kind of stuff. We're not even looking at stats yet. I know this is the easiest part, and some people are like, why are you showing us this? Because some people still don't do this. It's really not easy. I mean, it's, it's not that hard to do, but <clears throat> oh well. And I apologize if I sound a little bit sick. I am. That's just the honest truth. I am a little bit sick. Was this a male or a female? I didn't look. There we go. Male. And I apologize for the dodo noise. Well, it is the dodo noise. There's nothing you can do. I need to start looking more. There we go. Male. Now, what we're going to do is very simple. Once we have these things split into male, female, we're going to focus on something called points. Now, points can be calculated in a bunch of different ways. The easiest way to describe points is each level. There is a certain number of points that are given to a dino. So if you have a level 224, a level 225 dino will have one extra point in one of its stats. Now, in order to figure out what that extra point is, what you have to do is you have to look at the stats, honestly, and be like, okay, which one is the higher one? So now we've got them split into male and female. What we're going to do? pretty simple. If you have a 130 or higher, you got to look for points. Now I'll show you what this means. These are all the exact same. <clears throat> they respond in with the exact same stats, numbers, all this stuff. But when you tame them, it changes. So there's a the male. We're going to look at health just for the purpose of this. There's a 330, 338, 299. So we're going to pull this guy out because he's got the highest so far. 269, 384 is actually now the highest. So we're going to put him to the side, push him back in. And we're looking for the highest health because I'm just going to try and show you this as an example. I know this is an awful, like you feel like you're in a chicken farm. You can see that all of their healths are different. It is something that's not, there's 223, not what we're looking for. Even though they're all the same, same exact level, same everything, their healths are all different because they have different number of points into their healths. And this guy has the highest points. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename just him. And we're going to name this guy <coughs> zero, zero, because he's got zero mutations. He's a wild tame. And we're going to name him stud male. Because as of right now, he has our highest health sitting at 384. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this guy. And we're going to do a little bit of a cheat scale and bring him over to the next stage right over here, just like that. That is our stud male. Now, females, what you want to do is you want to check the health real quick just to see if any of them come close. I don't know if they are. For some reason, sometimes the males have a tendency to have higher stats. 345 comes close. But as you can see, I'm just cruising through these looking at the healths just to see if any of them come close. And I don't think they do. Perfect. None of them do. However, all of them are still important. Now, this is the next stage. These males do not matter anymore. Matters 
do not matter. You can do what you wish with these. You can just disappear them. Obviously, they're just going to fall away to nothingness right now. But you want to make sure that these are forever not breeding back in your line because they no longer matter. Because all they're going to do is bring worse stats out in your babies. If you want the best stats, these don't matter anymore. You can neuter them is another way. If you don't feel like getting rid of them, just go to the neuter option. Just literally making sure there is no chance they can ever have it again. Boom. Gone. <clears throat> so those are all your males gone. Now what we're going to do is pretty easy. We are going to take the females and we are going to name them all 00, zero female. Now the reason we're going to name them 00, zero female is actually pretty easy. Um, it's due to the fact that there are zero mutations on the male parent side, or I guess maternal, and zero mutations on the paternal. Now the reason we want to track that is because if we start losing mutations, for example, let's say I get a weight mutation. That does not matter to me. You can only have so many mutations on a tame. So that weight mutation now doesn't matter and you want to get rid of it in your line. So zero zeros and labeling the mutations, let's say you do get a mutation that's health, you write one. If it's on the maternal side, you write one maternal. If it's on the paternal, you write one paternal. And that's how it works. So I'll show you how to do this really quick. I'm not going to name all of them and waste your time on that. But what you do, zero dash zero, and we're going to name it F for female. That means zero mutations male, zero mutations female, and it is a female overall. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this stud male and we're going to move him over so he can actually breed with these things. What you'll notice, he has the highest health, which is what we're looking for. I don't even need this stuff. Why do I have it in my inventory? Oh well, we're just going to toss that off to the side. Da -da 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 -da. Now, as you can see right here, stud male, okay? We're going to go ahead and move him right there and we're going to enable mating on him. One, two, oh, enable mating on this one, we're going to enable mating on this one, put them right there. Enable mating on this one, put her right there. Enable mating on this one, you get the point. So, as it can only breed with four at the same time, you run these through as many as you can. So we'll do this set of four, this set of four, and then just this last one over here. I'm not gonna make you watch that entire process because it takes some time. So we're just gonna skip over that and pretend we did with these guys even though we're not actually going to. But you get the point, right? I hope so. So we're going to go ahead and sit here. As you can see, they're starting to mate. And I'll move on to the next tip here. You are only, what we're doing right now is we are breeding the strongest male, as you can see, with all of the female breeders. It does not matter what the female stats are. Obviously, it's better if they have a higher stat, but it does not matter because there is a 55, now I'm going to give you some numbers here, but it's going to be a lot. There's a 55% chance that you have a higher stat received as a baby. So if I have a male and he has a 384 overall health. What we're looking for is we are actually trying to get that mixed with this female's health. So there's a 55% chance he takes the higher health of the male. So if you breed with four, the probability of you getting two out of those four are going to have the higher health. So that's what we're really aiming for. Now, obviously, if you have a male, it doesn't matter anymore. You do not want to imprint or any of those things because you're just going to confuse yourself. Make sure the imprinting is zero if you're trying to breed for stats. If you're trying to breed for personal tames, that's different. But obviously, it's you know so up to you. So male, 55% chance that he passes his stats on to the next whatever his kids are. So if there's four of them, probably going to pass them on to two. And then probably won't get a mutation, but you never know. And we'll talk about how to get mutations momentarily. Now, now we've got our little breeding core right here. Let's say that this guy has the most points in health or the highest health we can find. That's good. That means we are going to get a good chance of breeding high level dinos. You don't necessarily need to throw them away. If you are going to raise them, though, keep in mind that if you get a mutation in the health, let's say, He's got 384. Let's say you get 400, just for an example. If you get 400 health onto one of these things, what you're going to do, you are instantly going to throw this one away and put the 400 in his place. Now, as you can see, I've got one egg that I'm looking for. I'm waiting for the 12%. Oh, they're just restarting. I see. I understand now. Ready to mate? Why aren't they actually mating? I don't understand. It's just that one. Oh, well, you get the point. So we're breeding the strongest one. Now, the next step is pretty simple. We've named them already and keep going with this. So let's say I get a mutation on a female, which I haven't gotten yet. What you would then do, you would say zero mutations on the paternal side, one mutations on the maternal side and female, but it, only if it's a good mutation, okay? So that's what we're focusing on. Now, the next step, if you do this, 
only keep the females in max stat males. The other ones do not matter. It's just wasting your own time. And I'll show you what I mean by this. There's the egg, okay? We've got the dodo. Da -da -da. 227, not a bad egg overall. Let's go ahead and check out his numbers. 345 is not the high health. It is a male. It is no longer useful. It can go away. It does not matter. It's going to raise itself because, well, that's what I have it on right now. It's going to raise itself easily. But as you can see, 345 is not what I want. So we're going to try this again. We're going to go ahead and look over here, see if he can actually get the breeding process done. Da -da -da. I don't know why these ones won't mate because they're like right next to it. Maybe it's just now they're going. So we just keep trying this process over and over again. As you can see, I'm going to grab like three or four eggs and I'll bring you back once we have that. All right, guys, so I have four eggs now. I'm going to go ahead and go over to our hatching area, as you can see right here. And I'm going to only keep females and max stat males because we want to replace that male. And that's our intent. One, two, three, and four. As you can see, there are four little ones right there. Imprint. Okay, where are you going? Imprint. Okay. Imprint, imprint, imprint. Stop it. There we go. There's two imprinted three imprinted. Okay, now where's the fourth? There we go. All right, so now let's check out their stat. This is the next most important part. Three or er, 384. So as you can see, male, highest possible stat, <clears throat> no mutations on the paternal, no mutations on the maternal, and we're good to go. So we know we can raise this one high, high stuff, not too bad. Now we've got a female here. <clears throat> Does not matter, but however, look at that. She has the high health as a female, so she is now a 0, zero. <clears throat> Let's put her in there. 0-0, zero zero, female health. Now, you can always say that. That's just because you know for sure she is going to have, you have a guaranteed match to get that perfect health, which is what you're looking for. Female, lower health. So this one just goes into our pot of possible breeding as you looks about right with that 55% that we were looking at. 0-0 zero, zero female now. And then let's check out this one. This one happens to be a male, 269, not what we're looking for. Zero mutations, does not matter anymore. So we're just going to leave that one be. But as you can see, this is how it works. You just get the male and you have a new male breeder over here. Options, change name, you can change it to whatever you want. You can write male breeder, doesn't matter. But he can replace the other one. It's up to you. He's got the same stat, so it doesn't necessarily matter. However, if he was to have a higher stat, you would throw this one away and put in the one with the higher stats. So, as you can see, that is the process. 55% seems about right. One, two, and three. I guess one, two, and then one, two didn't have it. So, about half. Looking good. So, the ARC page does not lie when it says it has that 50% chance. Now, let's go ahead and go to the next one. The rinse and repeat stage. What you're going to do is this process that I just showed you. You are going to do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until you get what you want. Now, obviously, as you can see, what will happen, you'll get a point in this guy. Let's say it goes up to 404. One mutation will show up on either the maternal or paternal side, and that way you know for sure. And then you would name him 01 or 10, depending on what it was. And you would just keep repeating this until you get that mutation. Now, what I would do if I was you, I'd, I'd probably pop like 40, 50, 60 eggs at the same time. You're probably going to get a mutation. And I'll show you that in the end once those guys stack up a couple more eggs over there. So let's go to the next stage. So as you can see over here, come on, let's go. This is the process you rinse and repeat. Get the high levels, move over there, get the breeding pairs on, make sure you get the zero zeros. Then you're looking for the rinse and repeat stage. Now, once you get mutations, it takes time. About 5% is what that says. Not always perfect, but it's still only about 5%. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna breed your mutations in with caution. If you ever see a color mutation, that does mean there is a stat mutation somewhere. So for example, if this one was blue, even though it wasn't in health, if I'm not looking for health, I wanna be very careful because, well, I don't know if I want that. So I might take that mutation and consider it useless. So color always means mutation somewhere. It's just a question of what mutation it is. Now mutations, they work based on the point scale. And we talked about that earlier. If I have, as you can see, look at these. Okay, it's kind of hard to see right now because obviously they're, there we go. Much better. That's what we're looking for. As you can see, this one is level 212, so it's not as good overall stats. This level 237 is the best overall stat because it's got the highest overall level. 
So the more levels it has into it, the better overall tame it is. And that's what we're looking for. So good tames, 237 is good compared to those other three. So he's got the most overall stats. Doesn't mean he's the best or the most mutated or anything like that. He just has the best overall stats. Now the last thing. If you are ever 71 levels beneath the cap of a level, stop. Because if you reach, even if you're leveling it, your creature will just disappear when it hits level cap. Let's say on your server, the level cap is 400, just as an example. You want to stop instantaneously at 329. Because if you hit that 400 level or go above 400 level, you're in trouble. So now let's go ahead and go over here and take some of these fertilized eggs. As you can see, I've got a bunch right here. And we're going to go ahead and test what, what happens here. We've got seven fertilized eggs. Oh my goodness, come on now. And we're going to see if we can get any mutations. Easy to pick by the color, um, and that's usually the best way to figure it out. So let's go ahead and repeat this process like we pretended we just did. We've tamed everything. We're at the step, and we're at the rinse and repeat step right now because we've got all the eggs we need. We've named everything, and we're just waiting for a breeding pair to show up. Just like this. And boom. All I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around, and I'm going to see if I can... Ooh, look at that. Is that a mutation? That looks like a mutation. So we're going to try and claim them all. <clears throat> Always do that because sometimes it's impossible to see the colors. But sometimes you get them, so on and so forth. Now imprint on this guy. Imprint on this guy who's green, so that might be a mutation as well. And it's not always possible to see the colors. Where are you going? Stop that. Shenanigans. Okay, now we have a couple more to imprint on. As you can see, there's some twins, triplets, all that stuff. You are bound to get a couple as, as you do this process. Now, I think we've got all of them. Right there is the last one. So let's go ahead and check the stats. Boom. And 284 doesn't have the high health. No mutations. It is a male, so this one's going to end up being trash. You can name it trash if you really want to because he doesn't need to be here anymore. So on and so forth. Trash. Now let's go ahead and check the next one. And this is just what you do. Male, useless, did not have any mutations, as you can see, zero, zero. Not useful, trash. Let's check out this one. Female, ooh, has the stat. That's what we're looking for. Zero mutations, but has the stat. That would become a zero, zero high health. Let's see this green one. Interesting, uh, 284, no mutations, but it's a female. So that's what we're looking for as well, zero, zero. 384 male. Ooh, there we go. And I knew it would happen. There's a mutation. It's not on the health, though, so you have to decide how you want to do this. Random mutations, one. Check this out. Behavior, back, options, change name, one dash zero. I'm going to call him male, but he has the high health, so he does have a mutation. So we've got a mutation rate on this one. Let's check out this one right here. 226. Mutation as well. Female has the high health as well, so it's got a bonus stat somewhere in there. Let's check this one out. Male does not have the high health, but has a paternal mutation. As you can see, this is a process that does, it, it's not that hard to do. As you go through this, you will find what you're looking for. It just takes time. If I was to pop a bunch right there, I just got three mutations in a total of, what was that, 12 eggs, if that. So if you just follow the process, you'll get what you're looking for. You're not always going to get the mutation in the stat you want. Sometimes it's going to be in a stat that doesn't matter at all. And that's unfortunate, but it does happen. So as you can see, we already have the mutations, just like this. Now, unfortunately... Sometimes you don't get what you want, like I just did right there. But we did get the mutations. And we're going to go and unfollow these guys. Look at this. We've got two mutations, three mutations, and a batch of 12. So we did the rinse and repeat process. We got the mutations. I looked over here. I said, okay, 5%. Not, I mean, it was higher than that for this one. Now, color, we got that mutation. When we did this right here, it's on the point scale. So we have higher level mutation eggs. And we focused on that. Now, what we do is if we have, for example, if I have this one right here, this is my male, does not have the high, it's a mutation, but doesn't have the highest health. So where did the ones go? They're, now they're all running around, great. Nope, nope, maybe it's this one. I'm not gonna try and find it, but you get the point. So anyways, now that they're all running around, wandering around, you can see three mutations on a batch of 12 is not bad at all. I'm not going to ever complain about the mutations of three on a batch of 12. 
and that's how you get them. Now what you're going to do is you're going to rinse and repeat this process over and over again up until you get that stat, that point mutation in your health. Then you're going to breed that one into your line trying to get a male so you can have a stud again. And that's literally as easy as this process is. So let's repeat it real quick. One, find the dinosaurs you want, get the breeding pairs you want, make sure you have a male stud, keep going over and over and over until you get the mutations and then breed that one back into the beginning. Now, once you le reach beneath level cap, that's where you stop. And that's literally as easy as this process is. I know dodos are an interesting example of it, but that's just how it works. <clears throat> Let's do another quick batch just because, you know, sometimes you get lucky. You never know. Might as well try, right? Never hurt you to try. So let's see how lucky we get. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and toss these guys up there. Look at that. And it looks like... I don't know if we got a mutation on this one, but sometimes you do without the color. So I go ahead and try claiming them all. Oh my goodness, it's green. It's red and green. Oh, it's so pretty. So we're going to test this. Why not? Let's figure it out. This is this is cool. All right. Come on. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here. Oh, that's a mutation, I think. That's going to be pretty. Look at the black on that one. Oh, that's cool looking. That is cool looking. No mutations, but it does look cool. All right, so anyways, you get the point of the video. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. You can see how the process works. It's just a rinse and repeat process. If it's not one you want, pick up the dodo. And unfortunately, it goes away. So this process is not that difficult. It's a rinse and repeat type of thing. If you are looking to get the highest overall stats, this is how you breed for your super dinosaurs. It's really that simple. There's nothing difficult about it. It's just something you got to rinse and repeat over and over until you get the results you're looking for. Just like this one right here, who happens to have his, there we go. The mutation, just like you see, he's got that random, so that's awesome. So we got the mutation we were looking for, and we couldn't ask for much more than that. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, Teacher's Game 2, out.